The topic today is the heart conduction system. Cardiac myocytes are able to propagate action potentials from cell to cell through gap junctions of the intercalated discs, but this process is quite slow and can't account for the ordered synchronous contractions of the heart. To ensure the proper sequence of contraction of heart muscle cells and to increase the speed of action potential propagation, the heart is equipped with a specialized conduction system. This system is composed of non-contractile cardiac muscle cells that specifically function to conduct action potentials. The sinoatrial node or SA node is located where the superior vena cava connects to the posterior wall of the right atrium. The SA node is composed of autorhythmic cells and is the pacemaker for the heart, generating the action potentials that initiate contraction. To allow the two atria to contract simultaneously, there is a special band of rapidly conducting tissue called Bachmann's bundle that quickly spreads the action potential to the left atrium. Although physically connected by a ring of connected tissue called the cardiac skeleton, the atria and ventricles are electrically isolated, preventing action potentials from spreading directly from the atria to the ventricles. Instead, the action potential is detected by the atrioventricular node or AV node, which is located in the floor of the right atrium near the interatrial septum. There are specialized conduction pathways called the internodal pathways that quickly conduct the action potentials from the SA node directly to the AV node. The AV node then delays the action potential for approximately 0.15 seconds, allowing the atria to contract before the ventricles. This delay is due to the very slow speed of conduction in the AV node, which is approximately 0.05 meters per second. From the AV node, the action potential is conducted via the atrioventricular bundle, or bundle of Hiss, into the interventricular septum. In the septum, the bundle of Hiss splits into the right and left bundle branches that descend through the interventricular septum to the apex of the heart. At the apex, the bundle branches split into numerous Purkinje fibers that then ascend the walls of the ventricles. The bundle of Hiss, bundle branches, and Purkinje fibers conduct the action potentials much faster than the cardiac muscle fibers at 1 to 4 meters per second versus 0.3 to 0.4 meters per second, respectively. This rapid conduction creates a more coordinated contraction of the ventricular muscle. Also, since the action potentials and hence contractions spread from the apex toward the base of the heart, the blood is pushed up towards the large arteries exiting the ventricles. The action potentials travel from the SA node through Bachmann's bundle to the left atrium and from the SA node through the internodal tracts to the AV node. Both of these events happen to allow the myocytes of the atria to depolarize. From the AV node, the impulses travel to the bundle of Hiss and then down the left and right bundle branches to the apex of the heart and then back up through the Purkinje fibers to allow the cells of the ventricles to depolarize. Even though the SA node is the pacemaker, the other components of the conducting system are also capable of spontaneously generating action potentials. Each has its own intrinsic rate of generating action potentials. The SA node has a rate of 60 to 80 per minute, the AV node a rate of about 40 per minute, and the bundle of Hiss and Purkinje fibers generate at a rate of about 20 per minute. The reason the SA node is the pacemaker is simply because it has the fastest rate and reaches threshold before the other areas. If the SA node becomes damaged or stops functioning, the AV node can take over and the heart will continue to beat just at a slower rate. Sometimes pacemaker cells can grow in the heart in other places besides the nodes. When this happens, the location is called an ectopic focus and is usually not life-threatening, but may over time disrupt normal conduction of the heart and cause it to beat faster or slower than normal. In most cases, the faster rate of the SA node will mask the ectopic cells, but if the SA node becomes compromised, ectopic foci can begin to control the heart rate. This can be a very scary situation because ectopic foci are not regulated by the nervous system. Ectopic foci can also alter the electrocardiogram readings. 
appearing as extra deflections and causing misdiagnosis. Now for some questions. Please pause the video and think of your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.